Jupiter's moon Europa is about the same size as our moon, but scientists believe that underneath its scarred icy shell, it has more water than planet Earth. So the ocean is, is deep. There's, there's about 30 kilometers of ice, and then there's an ocean below that, and then a rocky core. Those things all put together just make it a very interesting target from a, from a habitability point of view. Scott Tucker is part of the team that will search for signs of life on Europa. They just finished building this instrument at CU Boulder's Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. It will now hitch a ride a NASA spacecraft called Clipper, bound for Jupiter in 2024. So if those types of building blocks uh, of, of the chemistry of life are there, we can detect them. We, and so, so we can detect those, those organic molecules. They're hoping that the clues for life might be found in Europa's dust. That's why they call their sensor the Surface Dust Analyzer, or SUDA for short. So it's kind of like nature is sandblasting the material off the surface. Project scientist Bill Goode says the bombardment of micrometeorites provides a constant cloud of dust around Europa. And so that gives us ample opportunity to fly through and collect thousands of, of these samples at, at one flyby. He says SUDA will make about 50 passes at just 15 miles above the moon's surface. Every particle will be analyzed to see if Europa but truly does have the right chemistry to support life. Years down the road, um, we may discover something that could change the way we see ourselves in, in the universe. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. The instrument will now get shipped to GPL, JPL in California it, to get attached to the spacecraft. But uh, to be a deep space scientist, you really do have to have a lot of patience. The launch isn't until 2024, and it takes about six years to travel to the Jupiter system.